buyers always tell me the hardest part about buying a home is saving up the down payment. Well, today we're going to talk about the down payment you need when buying a home in Ontario. It's not just as simple as you need at least 5% down to buy a home, but don't worry if you stay tuned, I'll cover everything you need to know, including the hidden costs that you need to be prepared for. Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Rooney here, and on this channel, we talk everything real estate, from buying, selling, investing, to becoming an agent, becoming a broker, even building your own team. You name it, we talk it. Consider subscribing, and at any point during this video, click the link or description below for more information. Okay, let's start with this. A down payment is the amount of money that you need to put towards the purchase of a home. The down payment is deducted from the purchase price of the home, and then your mortgage loan will cover the rest of the cost. If your down payment is less than 20%, you'll have to pay mortgage loan insurance, AKA mortgage default insurance, which will vary depending on the size of your down payment. Now, there are a few great ways to get help with your down payment, like regional assistance programs, a home buyer's program, or you may be even able to borrow from a parent or relative, but we'll get into all that in a minute. So the first thing to know here is that you need at least 5% down to buy a home in Ontario. That 5% only applies to the first 500,000 of your purchase price. If you're looking to buy anything over that 500,000, you'll need 10% down on the remaining amount. For example, if you're interested in a home worth $500,000, you'll need a minimum down payment of 25,000 bucks. If you're looking at a home for 600,000, you'll need 35,000 as a down payment. That's 25,000 at 5% on your first 500,000 and then 10,000 on the next 100,000 at 10%. If by chance you're looking at a million dollar home or higher, you'll need 20% down on the full amount of the home. Next, if you have a down payment of less than 20%, you'll need mortgage loan insurance. This insurance is covered by either CMHC, Canada Mortgage Housing Corporation, Genworth, or Canada Guaranteed Insurance Company. In the interest of avoiding tedium, I'm just going to refer to this insurance as CMHC. CMHC is actually there to protect the lender in the event that a borrower does not make their mortgage payments. It's not there to protect the borrower. It's also worth noting that if you're self-employed or have a poor credit history, you may be required to pay CMHC even with 20% down. Now, CMHC premiums vary based on the size of your mortgage down payment and range from 0.6 to 4.5% of your mortgage. The larger your down payment, the lower your premium. Calculating CMHC is not so straightforward, so you should speak to your mortgage specialist as things like your interest rate and your amortization period will affect your premium, but I'll give you a loose example here anyways. Let's imagine you're purchasing a home for $400,000 with a down payment of $56,000. That's 14%. Based on the size of your down payment, your premium will be 3.1% of your loan amount. To calculate your premium, take the price of your home and subtract your down payment. In this case, 400,000 less 56,000, which leaves you with a mortgage of 344,000 bucks. Now take the amount of your mortgage and multiply it by your premium. 344,000 times 3.1% leaves you with $10,664. That's what you owe in CMHC. This amount can be built into your mortgage payments or you can pay it as a lump sum on closing. Most people opt to build the premium into their mortgage payments. An important note here is that in Ontario, we have to pay PST on CMHC. That PST cannot be built into your mortgage payments and will need to be paid on closing. In our example, you would owe $853.13 on closing. That's 8% of your mortgage premium. Now the buyers I speak to always say that the hardest part of buying a home is saving up the down payment. They all seem to find it more difficult than building credit or eliminating debt. If you're having a hard time with your down payment, there are a few things that may help you on your way. The first thing that you may find helpful, should you be eligible, is the Home Buyer's Plan. This plan allows you to withdraw up to $25,000 tax-free from your RRSP to buy or build a qualifying home, but you have to repay the amounts you withdrew within 15 years. Should you fail to replace the money in the allotted time, it could end up costing you a great deal of money in income tax. A few things to keep in mind, should you choose this route, are how withdrawing this money may impact your retirement savings, whether or not you'll be able to make the repayments, and how the growth of your RRSP may be affected while the money is withdrawn. Your second option, should you be a first-time home buyer, are down payment assistance programs. 
Most regions in Ontario have some sort of assistance program, but you need to meet some specific criteria to qualify. They're all basically down payment programs offering forgivable loans of 5 to 10% of your purchase price. To qualify, you must not have a vested interest in any land or residence, and you must be renting at the time of your application. You need to qualify for a mortgage, and each region offering these programs also include respective limits on your total household income and on the maximum purchase amount of your home that you're buying. You have to stay in your house for 20 years for the loan to be forgivable, otherwise you'll need to pay the loan back when you're ready to move again. Check out your local municipality's website to find out more about their qualifying criteria. You can also follow the link above to watch my video on first time homebuyers grants for a list of ways to save money for a down payment when buying your first home. Finally, if you have parents or close relatives with the means to assist you, you can borrow your down payment from them. Technically, this can't be a loan as that will affect your borrowing power, but your relatives are able to gift you your down payment. If you go down this road, there's a good chance that a lender will ask for something in writing from you and your respective family members stating that these monies are a gift and not a loan, thus ensuring that should something go wrong and you're unable to pay your mortgage, the lender is the first person to receive their money back, not your relative. Should you and your relative choose to work out some sort of repayment plan behind closed doors, well, that's your business. A few final thoughts before we wrap up here. This video will probably not be that helpful to you if you're looking to buy an investment property to either flip or rent, assuming you already own your primary residence. If you're looking for an investment, you'll need to speak to your mortgage specialist about what your down payment requirements are, but it's safe to assume that a lender will want a full 20% down. If you're looking for help in this area and are hoping to avoid the 20% down, drop me a line. I may have a solution for you. Wink, wink. Also, for everyone, Understand that no two buyers are the same, interest rates change, insurance premiums change, and there are a lot of variables when purchasing a home. I'm here to help, and if I don't know the answer to a question you have, I can definitely learn the answer in no time, so feel free to fire away. I strongly recommend that you, speak, that you seek expert advice when purchasing a home, and I encourage you to find a knowledgeable and trustworthy mortgage agent. If you need a referral, I have a strong network of professionals that would be more than happy to assist you in any way they can. Okay, that's it for today. As always, thanks for tuning in. Definitely subscribe for more videos covering all things real estate. And if you know anyone that this video would be valuable to, please share it with them. Hit me up below or shoot me an email with any questions or comments. And until next time, this is Matt Rooney talking everything real estate. So don't worry. What are you, what's, what's happening here? I don't, the line I'm saying isn't even on the screen. It's,